Okay, hello, welcome to the first video of Matt and Sarah in 2019 2020. This is about take four, by the way. Trying to get software working. So let's have a look. We've got here for you the part part hole models. Um, so this would be the hole, and these two underneath will be that number broken up to the parts. So let's quickly get into it and show you what I mean. So, first of all, let's take 10. Brilliant. Let's write down a number. Let's make it nice and simple. Let's make it 20, oh, need a pound, 23, 23. So I know I've got two tens and three ones. Let's physically put those in there um, with the bean block. So we know these are tens. So how many tens am I going to have in the tens part? I'm going to have two tens because I've got 20. I'm going to split that up then and I'm going to put the ones in the other part and I know I've got three ones. So step one, simply take the number, fit your multiplying and break it up into two parts. Part two, let's write this down as a number sentence. Let's multiply 23 by a number now. Let's just double it to start with. So at the moment I've got one group of um, two tens, I've got one group of 20. I need to double that because it's times two. So actually, I need two groups. So I'm going to write that in there. So two groups. And I'm going to need two groups for the ones as well. So I'm going to do two groups here as well. And then I'm very simply going to add those together. So let's start off with a 10. So I've got two in each group. So I need 20 in this group. That's one group of 20. And because I'm timesing by two, I need another group of 20. So I've got two groups of 20. We know, if we count those up, that I've got 10, 20, 30, 40. So very simply, I can write 40 underneath. And I know this because I know double 20 is 40. We've then got to do the same with the 1. So actually I've got 3 here, so I need 2 groups of 3. So count with me. 1, 2, 3. And I need another group of 3. 1, 2, my two and my three. So I had one group of three, I doubled it and I've got two groups of three. So actually three plus three is six. So I know I've got six here. Okay. So that equals 46. So I put 40 and six together, I've got 46. So the answer to 23 times two equals 46. Let's try that again. We've got another one there, not yet. So let's go back there. So I've done 23 times 2 equals 46. You can pause this whenever you want, by the way. Have a go at it and then come back to it another time. So let's go back. And we're going to use 23 again, but I'm not going to multiply it by, in fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave that in there. So I've still got 23, but let's make it a bit more challenging for us because actually we don't always multiply by 2. So we're going to do 23 times 3 this time. And we're going to see what it's equal. So we've got to do the same thing again. I know I've got two tens there. How many groups do I need? I've got one group. I'm multiplying it by 3, so I actually need somewhere down here. 1, 2, Three groups so I need three groups of ten and I'm also going to add that to three groups there which are the ones okay because I'm multiplying by three I need three groups for the tens and I need three groups for the ones let's drop in two tens into each box let's count again 10 20 30 40 50 60 so actually, in this first section, in the 10 section, I have 60. And I need, now need to put in the 1s. So I've got one group of 3, multiplied it by 3, that means I've got three groups of 3. So count with me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So just check, got 3, 3, 3. We counted that up, that equals 9. So I need to write 9 
60 plus 9. Okay, and if I add those together, I get 69. So the answer to 23 times 3 69. Um, so that is the end of the first part of the part part whole. The second part is actually looking at short, short multiplication and I will show you that in another video.